Hi, this is Nicole Hetty from Paper Tray Inc. And today I'm going to give you a very quick tutorial on just how to assemble a Movers and Shakers zippers card. Um, when you purchase the Movers and Shakers um, die collection, you get these two dies. And essentially, this one is supposed to be used um, horizontally this way. And this one has more of a vertical orientation, so you can have one to use um, no matter what um, what way you decide to orient your card. So what I've done is I've die cut both of these pieces from Simply Chartreuse cardstock. And you can see right here how it creates that perforated area on both pieces. Now to put these on a card, I've cut pieces of... Um, cardstock to use as a backer that are the same exact size as the actual um, die which is two and three quarters by four inches so those are trimmed out and ready to go it's always nice with these particular dies to do the um, backing with a um, contrasting color of cardstock because it will help um, your elements show up a little bit better now I have the backer here and the um, cardstock die cut with the zippers die. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on top of the backer and then I'm just lightly with pencil going to mark where that strip is going to end up. And that is going to help me to stamp my sentiment in a minute. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm just going to move it over slightly making sure that the top and the bottom are lined up and just marking it slightly with the pencil there. And I am going to take a ruler and I'm going to connect those dots lightly. And this will give me a really good guide of where to stamp my sentiment. So I have a sentiment here from the Movers and Shakers sentiment stamp set. These are great sentiments because they're broken down into two pieces so that you can expose a surprise with, with the zippers especially. And they are sized perfectly to fit in to the various pieces of the Movers and Shakers die lineup. So there I've stamped the sentiment within the pencil marks that I made on the white backer. I'm going to go in, I'm just going to erase my lines, and really, you probably don't need to erase these because they're going to be covered pretty well, but I went ahead and did it anyway. Okay, so there's that is erased, and now I'm going to take the green layer, and this is a really important step. Um, you want to use a strong adhesive like score tape, for example, just above and below the die cut zipper area. The reason being is that your recipient is going to be tugging on this to get it to peel open. And if this isn't adhered well to the backer, it possibly might not zip correct, unzip correctly. So you just want to use something really sturdy to hold it in place. Okay, let me take off the backing of that score tape and I'm going to place this right on the white backer and it should fit perfectly since we cut this the same size. And as you see, this is what you end up with. Now I'm just going to take adhesive. Now obviously this is, I'm just doing a bare bones tutorial here. You can doll this up any way you like. So this piece is what you would, would adhere to your card front. Now let's assume that your recipient has received this card. And what they would do is pull up this little tab right here like this and then they pull on it and oh look at that there's a little surprise inside kinda like a lottery ticket 
Now you would do the same exact process for the other version. It's just it got a slightly different orientation and allows you a longer sentiment. And this will coordinate well with a horizontal A2 card. So there you have it. That is how you use the movers and shakers zippers dies.